Hey everyone, Carla Macapinlac here from NewbieFitnessAcademy.com. I help busy professionals reach their fat loss goals so they can feel more confident, be ready for any situation, and get the most out of their lives. And in this video, I'm going to show you why sleep is important for weight loss. You're going to be racing to bed by the end of this video. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every time I post a new video every week. All right, let's dive in. This is your starting point. Sleep is so important that if you don't get it right, you're not gonna see the results you're looking for, even if I give you the best diet advice and the best workouts on the planet. It's that simple. If that's news to you, that's a very good indication why you've had such a hard time losing weight. How do I know that? Because I struggled with this for the longest time. Back in 2012, I was already working out around that time, but I wasn't getting the results I wanted. I was getting strong, but the way my body looked didn't really reflect it. It looked like I didn't work out at all. I wasn't getting a very good return on my time investment, and I couldn't really figure out why. Back then, I bartended at a nightclub to pay the bills, which meant that getting off work at 3 a.m. was a regular thing. I went to a lot of parties, I played video games, and would often go to bed at some ungodly hour. Sleep back then was basically just an option and not a necessity. Long story short, I still had no idea what I was doing. I lived off fast food because it was the only thing that's available late at night. Really, I had it at any time because I didn't know any better. It resulted in me gaining weight. A lot of weight. Sound familiar? I know I'm not alone on that. Most people fall into this trap. They're under the impression that they can just look up the best workout program out there and ignore their sleep and nutrition and expect to lose weight. People even look up workouts for specific body parts thinking they can just spot treat themselves. The problem is, it doesn't work that way. You can do 100 sit-ups every day, but if you have a lot of fat to lose and you have a shitty diet, you're simply not going to see the results you're looking for. I call this the hope and pray method. And you're going to be hoping and praying for a long time if this is your strategy. I spent a good chunk of my 20s getting an average of 5-6 to six hours of sleep per night and wondered why I always felt like crap, why I couldn't lose weight, why I always had low energy, and why I always seemed to get sick at least once a month. Sound familiar? The thing is, people seem to wear their lack of sleep like a badge of honor. Like someone's gonna give them a medal for being tough and pulling off an all-nighter a couple of times a week. I mean, that's how you stay productive, right? No wonder I never considered my lack of sleep to be a problem. I just didn't know any better. I couldn't figure out why I wasn't losing any weight. It turns out, depriving myself of sleep is one of the biggest reasons why. Let me explain. The less you sleep, the more you weigh. Getting by on 5 hours of sleep and pulling off an all-nighter isn't a testament to your mental endurance, toughness, and how productive you are. In fact, not getting enough sleep is probably one of the biggest reasons why you're not losing weight. Here's what you need to know about sleep. According to research, lack of sleep has a direct correlation to weight gain and eventually obesity and raises your risk of developing heart disease. The term I'll sleep when I'm dead will have a whole new meaning to you if you keep ignoring your sleep. Yet, we deprive ourselves of sleep all the time. Here's a few numbers that jump out right away if you don't get enough sleep. Studies show that over a third of American adults are not getting enough sleep on a regular basis. Why is that important? Well, when you consider the fact that the obesity rates for men and women in the US are nearly the same, the relationship between sleep and obesity starts to make a little bit more sense. To put it simply, people who don't get enough sleep at night tend to weigh significantly more than those who get adequate sleep. There's almost a direct correlation between the two. In fact, lack of sleep is one of the strongest contributors to obesity. That and if you eat a lot of refined carbs and sugar. In one study, children and adults who were sleep deprived were 89 and 55% more likely to become obese respectively. Participants in the same study who reported less than 5 hours of sleep per night had an approximately 40% higher risk of developing obesity than those who reported 7 to 8 hours of sleep. Here's more. A study that recorded the sleep patterns of 9,000 people indicated that those who averaged only 6 hours of sleep per night were 27% more likely to be overweight than those who slept between 7 to 9 hours. It gets worse. The participants who averaged 5 hours of sleep were 73% more likely to be overweight. Let me repeat that for a second. 
five hours of sleep increases your chances of being overweight by 73 freaking percent. And if all that wasn't enough, sleep deprivation makes you eat bigger portion sizes, further increasing the likelihood of you gaining weight. It also disrupts the daily fluctuations in appetite hormones and is believed to cause poor appetite regulation. You're fighting a losing battle all because you're not getting enough sleep. You're literally fighting against your hormones. Here's where it gets more serious. A review of 15 studies found that short sleepers are at a far greater risk of heart disease or stroke than those who sleep 7 to 8 hours per night. In a study of healthy young men, restricting sleep to 4 hours per night for 6 nights in a row caused symptoms of prediabetes. Yikes! Sleep is just something that most of us are willing to sacrifice in a heartbeat. What I do know is that sleep is absolutely necessary to your success if you want to lose weight. I made this video for a reason because it's something that you can fix right away. Starting tonight, sleep deprivation has so many negative effects on your body that it's almost impossible to lose weight until you fix your sleep. If you're wondering why your last attempt at losing weight didn't go according to plan, not getting enough sleep is probably one of the biggest reasons why. And also if you have a crappy diet and don't exercise. It's just as important as having the right mindset, eating healthy, and working out. You need to have all four working in unison if you want long-term results. Again, I've never heard anyone complain about actually getting enough sleep at night. Okay, now that we've established why sleep is important for weight loss, we need to find out how much sleep you actually need. According to the National Sleep Foundation, if you are between the ages of 18 and 65, you need to get anywhere between 7 to 9 hours of sleep per night. Cool? Cool. Okay, the next question then becomes, how are you actually supposed to eat after you've taken care of your sleep? Do you have a proven plan that you can follow? To help you with that, I want to give you a free copy of my Lean Body Blueprint. This is how I melted all the fat around my stomach and turned it into a six pack without going on a crazy diet or wasting hours at the gym. It's a simple four step process specifically designed for busy professionals and it's the exact same blueprint that I teach all my private coaching clients and they've all gone to see some amazing results. If you want to be the next success story, then download your free copy of the Lean Body Blueprint right now. There's going to be a link in the description box. Just click on it, type in your email, and I'll send it to you right away. All right, that's all I've got. Keep being awesome. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post a new video every week. And hey, leave me a comment below if you found this video helpful or if you have any questions about sleep. All right. I'll see you in the comment section. Virtual high five. Over a third of American adults are not getting enough. Oh my god. I played a lot of video games. Damn. Blah, blah, blah. How are you actually supposed to eat after your. Oh my god. This sucks.